Hi guys, my name is Anthony and this is Crypto Before You. Look at this. Bitcoin could be doing an ABC correction wave. Now look at this. If we go on the daily time frame, you can see that Bitcoin has been rising up and then we dumped and now we started going up again. Now, what if we are doing an ABC correction wave? If we are doing an ABC correction wave, so we will be going down and then we will start going up to the 0.618 creation level of this and this after that we're supposed to fall down and then we're going to go to the 0 0.6 tracing level of the whole entire rise now i will be explaining you guys why i see this as a possibility but this does not look that big of an issue for bitcoin i'm going to be explaining you guys all that and more in this video so let's get into this so let's get straight to the point guys we have an ABC correction on the daily slash weekly time frame. You guys can see that we have been pumping. We have been pumping since July. It's now August and it's almost done. It's almost becoming September. We've been pumping for about two months now. Now, we just broke this resistance level, 42,882, and we confirmed support. I am happy for that. But I saw this. If we... If we see this, we can get from the all-time high to where we fell down here. Could be the A wave, by the way. And the 0 0.618 retracement fell really close to where we are right now. And that actually was really close to support. Well, how do you know that this retracement line is actually doing practically, like, it's actually working? It's actually going to work? How you know that is that by looking at the supports. You can see that... I have supports written on um, this line right here, which is really close to the 0 0.5. This line right here, which is close to the 0 0.618. And then this line, which is the 0 0.7. And, of course, we have the 0 0.3, which is down here. So, we have four lines that are actually correlated. And everything else is actually also supports. So we have a support here. We have a support here. We have... This is a really strong Fibonacci retracement. So we got hit at the 0.618 level. We usually start falling down at the 0 0.5 and 0 0.618 level. So if this is a C wave, we should start falling pretty soon. And if we start falling, by the way, this is where the issue comes in. This is why I believe this um not that big of a problem. Because if we get from the COVID dump where the pump actually started to the all-time high where the pump ended and we started dumping, you can see that the supports also line up with the Fibonacci retracement levels. You can see that my support at the 23236 level, 0 0.236, is actually was this resistance line. It actually is. And you can see that that's where we are right now. It's a really big resistance level. Now we have the 0 0.382, which was this, the top of the sandbox. And then we have the 0 0.5, which is a big support we stayed right here. And then we have a 0 0.618, the most important level, the golden ratio. You can see that this level is at the bottom of the sandbox, and we already practically reached it. Now this is why we have, I'm not thinking that this is a really big, tar really big problem for Bitcoin, because... We already reached that target, and so if we go back down to here, we could just essentially make a bo double bottom, not an ABC correction wave. ABC correction waves need us to actually come probably more down because that is how a wave usually works. So we should actually maybe come down to the 0 0.7. The 0 0.7 is in between this target so let's just say we do actually start falling down this is how guys so um first let me show you if we start breaking this support and we start actually falling down and let's just say we start falling down and then we start breaking resistance we start breaking support after support if we start doing this guys i will make sure to tell you that we're doing this and then i'll talk about this um abc correction wave more and if we start breaking this, then we could be starting to go back down to the 0 0.618 ratio, the 0 0.7. That is where my target would be about here. And since there's not that big of a support slash resistance level until the 0 0.7, then I believe we could fall down to the $2,000 level to test our previous all-time high because everybody was thinking about that. So this, even though this is not that big of a problem right now, it could become... Because I can 
kind of see that we could be doing this because on the weekly time frame, the stochastic R size is really high. The R size is starting to drop. We do have not that much support, as you can say, in the ADX and DI level, and everything's practically at the negative. So usually when this line is really high, that means we have a really strong support. And right now we're starting to go up, and it looks like we're supposed to start getting our support back, but all we've been doing is still going down. So we're not really getting the support even though we're pumping up, and that could be bad. Not only that, but look at this. The volume. There's practically no volume. If we go on the daily time frame, there's no volume. It's just been going down even though we've been going up. So maybe that's a problem. Usually when we break out, we usually have a lot of volume. And right now we're not breaking out. And I mean, right now we're not having that much volume, so maybe we're not breaking out. Maybe this is a fake out, guys. And remember that head and shoulders, guys, that I was talking about? And I'm still thinking that if, let's just say, we start falling, then we could have this. But, guys, I'm saying this is something that could happen. And this is a big, this is a big possibility. Even though it probably won't happen if we do this, guys. All we gotta do, this is why it's not a big possibility. All because all we gotta do, guys, is get over this fifty thousand dollar level because that is where the zero point six one eight retracement level of this level of this Fibonacci retracement is. If we get over the zero point six one eight level, then we're gonna be free to go higher. And you know what's even better than zero point six one eight to make sure the zero point seven because sometimes we go all the way to the zero point seven. So all we gotta do is break this, and we're gonna be in the clear. And you guys know that. We've been doing something called the stepladder pattern. I call it the stepladder pattern. It's basically when we start going up. And I don't know. i just been seeing this all over Bitcoin. This is just, isn't just me. But when we start doing the stepladder pattern, we usually go halfway or to the top. When we go halfway and start falling back down, we usually fall back down to where we were. If we go all the way halfway, we're in the clear. So maybe this could be a, something called a stepladder pattern. And... If we start going all the way up, I think, guys, we could be in for a gigantic pump. So all, all we got to do is break through this resistance. I'm not bearish. I'm right now neutral because I really got to see what we're going to do, guys, right now. So if we start dumping, we could be doing the ABC correction wave. That is a threat, but it might not happen. But if we break through this resistance, this one, and just to make safe, this one then I believe we will be in the clear and we will not have this ABC correction wave because honestly, if we fall, we lose the Bitcoin, but always there's a, always a bright side. We will get cheap Bitcoin. And if we go up, we will get more money. We'll get our money back. There's always a bright side to everything. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click that post notification bell. See you guys next video. Bye!